Uh-oh. Looks like someone had a ton of technical issues and forgot to record an intro to the video. This is Suffer the Night, a first-person survival horror game. It's about 15 bucks on Steam, came out recently and has some good reviews. So, enjoy. Listen, I know we gotta go check the thingy mabob or the radio, but we gotta have a peek around this room. Uh, we got the telephone. I don't need to use the phone right now. We got some drawers. We have legs. Nice. Uh, it's just like Stacy. Sh like it's not even anything notable. It's just stuff. All right. Well, yeah. Let's go check the radio. See how long this storm's gonna last. It looks pretty, uh, pretty nasty though. Oh, the pooter. Turn that light on. We need every light we can get in a game like this. I just know it. Where's, where's the radio, bud? Where is it then? I should take the radio for storm updates. Where? Oh, there it is. Ooh, hurricane party, let's go. Oh, that's this fucking. That's a. That's literally baby, baby sh. I'm from Florida, guys. It's literally category two. We'll go outside and frolic. It's, that's whimsical fun for a man like me. All right. Huge, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That guy had the voice of a fucking diesel truck. God damn. Okay, this is the spot. Damn. I'm really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some <laughs> what coffee the to wake me up. Yeah, eggs and toast and coffee sounds great. Um, why do you have this pi What is up with this picture? I mean, it goes hard. Just a man vomiting lava into a bunch of little, little men. Mr. Nibbles right next to it. Jesus. Cover art I painted for the book Tornado of Souls, written by J.L. Stein. I forgot that uh, we're, we're a illustrator? Writer? Ooh, that man, that, what's a bunny so angry for, man? The Moose. What are we going to name him? Morris. Morris the Moose. I mean, it's, it's a sweet place you got, lady. Goddamn. No better place to get murdered in the woods by a serial killer. This is perfect. Ooh, play some tunes? Nice. All right, uh, what were we doing? Eggs and toast. That was it. Where's the light switch? And why am I so goddamn slow, dude? I'm moving at snail's pace. All right, eggs and toast. What do we got? We got some, we got some eggs. I'll take those. Oh, wait, what else you got in this fridge? You got some butter? I'll take that. Fuck it, what we ball? Some orange soda, Swan Lake. What are those? I have no clue what those are. We gotta get some bread, and we got the eggs. And then we're set. Oh, there we go. Get a plate. Just make you some, uh, some eggs. Just make, uh, some, some brekkie food. Why not? Picked up bread. Pop that shit in the toaster. Wow. Holy shit, that was fast. What the f***? <laughs> Where'd you get this toaster? Did that thing come out of f***ing Area 51? How did it do it like that? That was like, literally like five seconds. What? Okay, got some toast. We need a pan. Yep, there we go. Clink! This is a vibe. I'm digging this. I'm having a good time out here. It's got this sweet pad, hurricane going, nice chill vibes. I got my fishnets on. Nothing, nothing could go wrong. I need a spatula. What? Just grab it with your hands. Where did- Oh, there it is. Yoink! All right. Let's eat. Oh, wait. Did she just eat it? There's no way she just ate that. Did she eat it with the fucking plate and all? God damn, bitch. How hungry are you? Holy shit. Okay. All right. No TV. Uh what do we want to do? It's this big old mansion of fun. We can do whatever we want. God, every time I see a place like this, the male urge to disappear and go missing in the woods just intensifies. Any of y'all get that? Man, that's a sick-ass neon. Cool cabbage. All right, well, hey, let's just sit down in our pooter, I guess. Whoa, holy shit. What? <laughs> Was she hacking the mainframe? What is this? Downloading Pentagon. Well, why, why is there a look over shoulder function? Uh, please select the following drives to boot from. Welcome back, Stacy. Uh, we'll do drive one. Notice found. Drive two? Wow. Okay, well, I guess we don't even have a fucking boot drive. God, what is, what is she running? Fucking Windows one? <laughs> what? I'm kind of doisty. Can I get a, can I get like an orange soda or something? No? Okay, f me, I guess. All right. Okay, we'll make some coffee. And some ground coffee beans. Uh, let's see. Coffee, coffee. Uh, where the, where do you keep your coffee, lady? What is this? 
stuff. What is the coffee in another cash hole? What it? Where? Oh my god. It's, what, why would you not keep your coffee right next to the coffee machine? This makes no sense. Dude, what? Why are you keeping it all the way? Give me that. Can't wait for her to fucking drink the whole coffee, Pyrex and all. Mr. Krabs taking the fucking horse pill. I need a coffee mug. No, you don't. You ate a fucking dinner plate. You don't need a coffee mug. Nice. Okay. To put some clothes in the wash down in the basement. Oh, okay. But uh, do we gotta go get them from the room? Or maybe they're probably already down there, to be honest. Oh shit, damn, you got a light switch or something? What? Don't tell me the light switch is down at the bottom of the basement. You, you are fucking, you are getting on my last nerve, lady. Alright, laundry time, baby. Damn, this place is sick! She has got the spot. Oh! A necromancer has plagued your land. His cult and foul creatures have taken over towns in the countryside. It's up to you to defeat him. Battle your way to his fortress and slay him before he completes his dark ritual. <gasps> Let's go! F doing chores, I'm playing fucking Goblin Quest. F you. Oh. Nice, get f done. Oh! Oh, you got lucky. You got lucky. Oh, from the back. Oh, archers. Get f Get f f you. Oh, a bat. Oh, we can just stun lock those bozos. Oh, another archer. You son of a bitch. Come here. Come here, give me that ass. Give me that ass. This is not what I expected to be playing today. <laughs> what the f***? Oh, slimes? How do I get through? Can I crouch? Oh, I can. <gasps> Peekaboo! I am going to defeat the wizard. Oh, we can duck under these. Ow, oh, f***. He bonked my head in. Oh, the big boy. Oh, shit. Oh. It's the fucking Dark Wizard's minion. Oh, man, he hits hard. Oh, shit. This is gonna be tough, fellas. We gotta really use our brains on this one. Oh, my God, I never beat Elden Ring. Fuck. What if we just leave him? What <laughs> What if we just keep running? Fuck, the gate won't lower. All right, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna stop the Dark Wizard. There will be no more crocodile magic in these lands, and I'm dead. That's... Oh, we got it down. We got it down. Get You are, you are fucking done for. You are done for, Buster. Get fucked. The Dark Wizard has come to build a Walmart on my land. I won't let it happen. Not on my watch. No! No, fuck! The Dark Wizard has studied Vietnamese guerrilla warfare. It seems I've fallen in a punji trap. Oh, look at that big boy. Hey, buddy. Oh, fuck. There we go. The, the Dark Wizard cannot be far. Oh, fuck. This better be the end. I really gotta do my laundry. <laughs> oh, who are you? Are you the are you the final boss? Are you, are you the, the big fella at the end? What the f*** was that? He just, he just smited me. Oh, oh. The one for... The one for... The one slur. The one slur. Come on, come on. Oh, bitch. Oh, oh, take that. Take that. Oh, owie, owie. Oh. Lightning bolt! You've done it! The necromancer's defeated! His plans were foiled and his creatures were vanquished. Though the land is scarred, it will heal with time. Congratulations on your victory. I forgot we were playing this game. Uh, what are we doing again? Laundry! Yeah, laundry, that was it. God, this is a huge basement. This place is massive. Okay, there's the breaker box. I know that'll come in handy. And we got some laundry. Okay, basket of dirty laundry first. There we go. Toss it in the washer. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Oh shit! What, what was hell? that? Hello? Did you see that? Was that a face? No, nah, dog. That was the front doorbell. Who would be here at this hour and in this storm? No, I think I'm gonna go back to playing uh, Necromania. Thank you. Oh, Okay, someone's apparently at the front door. Someone rang the doorbell. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> hello? Is this the front door? How did this envelope get here? Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, that's not an ordinary envelope. That's like a fucking spooky black envelope. That's, <laughs> it's, okay, pick it up. What is it? To Stacy. All right, let's really think about this. Is it worth opening? I mean, it's got my name on it. 
Oh, it's a, a floppy, floppy disk. disk. Hey, bitch. Where I did see this come Jinx? from? There's no one at the door. Okay, someone left me a little video game. I mean, I like video games. We can go give it a shot. This is how you gave people viruses back in fucking 1872. You throw floppy disk through their window and hope they just shove it in their computer's pussy. All right, close the door. I don't want no spooky shit, okay? Uh, oh, it's the game! Suffer the night. Press enter to start. All right. We ball. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You waken on cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A sticky, sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. Barely make out your surroundings. List of commands. Press 1 to get up. You slowly rise to your feet. As you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You're in some sort of cavern or cave. There doesn't seem to be a way forward other than a tiny gap between two enormous Enormous cocks, rocks, two enormous rocks. It's just wide enough to crawl through. Let's search around the room. Nothing was found. Okay. All right, well, let's crawl through the stussy, the fucking little crevice, and see where it takes us. You emerge from the crawl space into a large cave. It's almost pitch black, with the exception of a single light shining down from a cliff face. You notice a stepladder carved into the stone of the cliff face. There's the ladder right there. Uh, let's just search around real quick. Nothing. Climb up. You reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as a breeze blows from down the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. Well, let's search around. Maybe we'll find the source of the rot. No? Nothing. All right. We go forward. You enter a large mausoleum. Its chamber's empty. Except, surrounded by fresh wax candles, a single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be as its strongest here. To your right, there is a large wooden double door. We search around. You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from the grotesque stench. Inside is a really stinky man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. While searching the coffin and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands. Disgustedly peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand, you take the key. A key's been added to your inventory. I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm spooked. <laughs> I'm so spooked. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go, uh, let's go right through the double doors. Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it's locked. A key's required. Well, luckily for me, I... Peeled this key off of a stinky man in a box a second ago. You use the key to open the door. The path leads to the right. Hello? Oof. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? Fuck. I do not like that. Let's turn these lights back on. What the fuck? It's, uh, it's just the storm. Messing with the, with the radio. That's all, that's all it is. That's all it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. Oh, fuck. That was the gut-wrenching scream, wasn't it? On the radio. Uh, I see where this is going. Continuing down the path, you come across a small se sepulcher? Sepulcher? Chipotle? A small- what? Housed inside are two small coffins. They've been nailed and fastened shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. Let's search that urn. You check inside the urn. Expecting to find ash, but inside the light catches a glimmer of something shiny and reflective back. You reach in and find an antique lighter. You pull the glass pipe out of your pocket and start to smoke on some ancient wizard crack. A small inscription has been scratched off, perhaps a family heirloom? You apply pressure to a spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. Surprisingly, it still works. Lighter was added to your inventory. That's gotta be a big dub. You attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Uh, we use our lighter. We use our lighter. Using the lighter, a large st What the hell was that? Oh, the power just went out. Oh my god! Oh my god, that scared me so bad. I pressed every button on my uh, on my everything. I holy shit! Oh, the power's out. God. Okay, okay. We know where the backup generator is. Let's go get that shit back on. Oh, that was a big lightning. Big, big, big lightning. Oh baby. It looks like the transformer blew. Woo! Lightning must have struck it. I need to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. All right, yep, let's do that. Let's do that as f f f quick as possible. Where's that fuse box, baby? 
I think I think I remember it. It was uh, by the laundry. There it is. Flip that shit. Turn back on Damn, the generator. I forgot to refuel the generator. Oh the last come time on, Stacy! There is some fuel out back in the boathouse. Dude! I should grab a flashlight from the garage before heading outside. You you fumble in the bag, Stacy. You are letting us all down right now. All right, where's the fucking where's the flashlight? Is it down here? And all this shit? Didn't she say that grab a flashlight from the basement? Or am I am I tripping? Am I fucking imagining things? I think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom last time I took a shower. Uh, okay, that's upstairs. Easy, easy. Let's go get that, get the flashlight, get the power back on, and keep playing our f***ed up little video game. God damn, boy, that thing's sparking. Ooh, it's so dark. I'm using an OLED screen right now. It's actually just f***ing pitch black. Ah! Okay. No! Oh! Oh, 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 boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Are we good? Shit. A fuse must have blown. Fuck. That light bulb is toast. Oh, shit. We need to make a grocery list. Uh, we, we need a flashlight. We need a new light bulb. New pair of pants. All right, let's head out. Yeah, this is the door. Garage. Nice. Uh, flashlight. There it is. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should huge. be some fuel I can use for the generator there. Huge, 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 huge. Okay, let's hit it, Stacy. I feel invincible now that I got a flashlight. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. To the boathouse. Holy shit, it is pissing down. Damn, this is quite the cabin. Why does this lady insist on keeping everything useful as far away as possible from the things that need it? She kept the coffee across the kitchen. The fuel is at the bottom of the fucking mountain. What are you doing, Stacy? All right, there's the boathouse. Do I have a boat? It's empty. I need to refill it. There is a fuel pump inside the boathouse. Okay, I do have a boat. Good to know. Uh, fuel pump. There it is, baby. What happens if you attach that thing to your, to your, uh, to your, to your, uh, your little fella? Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. Back to the basement, baby. Any creepy crawlies out here? Any, any stalkers? A guys with a fucking duffel bag full of floppy disks any any anything no okay that was not nearly as, as scary as it could have been thank god let's go start that generator back up huh wait 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 i left the front door open no i left the front door open when i left oh no is that gonna bite me in the ass later now i need to reset the circuit breaker and that should restore the power the power should be working now i should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer Ooh, baby. Okay, we gotta preserve power, so we're sticking to the flashlight, baby. Let's go. Let's go back upstairs and fucking call the power people and let them know that the, the transformer is kaput. What? There's no signal. The line is dead. Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? There's a little gerbil man in my walls and he's chewing on my fucking phone cables. Oh, please, dude, please. The doorbell again. Not what again. What the hell is going on here? Not again. Is someone playing a trick on me? Real funny trick. Ha ha. <gasps> who the f*** is that? Hello? Who, who are you? Mister? Hello? Who's there? Who, who is this Tim Burton looking motherfucker? What? Hello, young lady. Oh, he's got quite the My voice. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside and use your phone? There's no way that guy travels by anything other than horse-drawn carriage. You, you, you lying son of a bitch. What, would your f***ing horse break down? What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Well, perhaps I can come in no. to dry off. No. Oh, look at his smile. Of this storm. No, no, you can't, dude. Fucking, I know you're the one in my walls chewing on my fucking phone cables. It's not gonna happen. I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. Very well, Stacy. I'll find my own way in. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Hey, where are you? Where are you going? Hey, no, no, stop it, stop it. 
bad, dubious British person. You, you knocked that off. Ooh! What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? How did that creep know my name? He just climbed the fucking building, dude. What? No way. Where'd he go? He could be anywhere. Did I lock all the windows? Where'd you go? And you little sh spider monkey. Where did you Where did you get off to, you little silly goober? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. I need help. A man literally just crawled up my building like fucking Spider-Man. Hello, Stacy. You sick fuck. Why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. I'll make you a deal. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. I, I have a gun. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't believe you either, Stacy. And I'm rooting for you, dude. I, I do not believe that. That was the least convincing I have a gun I've ever heard in my life. Uh, I have a gun? I know you're lying, Stacy. Me too, man. Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was can jump. Well, fellas, uh, it seems like we're finishing his game. Uh, Jesus Christ. British man holds me hostage, lives inside my walls, makes me play his game that he made. Makes me play his indie game. This is, this is crazy. What are we gonna do? The guy can climb walls. He's literally Tim Burton's Spider-Man, Stacy. We're fucked. We're boned. All right, where do we leave off? Using the light or a large stair... A large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. Go forward. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out the path that continues right. Oh, this is a spooky room. You entered a spacious room with a large round wooden table in its center. On the table sits a small lockbox. Chains surround the box and feed into a skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron cage, the other open. All right, we search around. There's nothing. We'll go right down the path that doesn't have a giant iron cage on it. Okay. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. This one suspiciously has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Go forward. First search, but yeah, we'll go forward. Obscured by darkness, light the lighter. Hello? What the f*** is that? Hello? What's all that noise? Sounds like someone's f***ing chewing on celery outside or something, man. What the f***? What the hell was that? Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's my f***ing head. If I turn too fast, I can see my head. Using the lighter, you illuminate the hallway. It stretches into darkness. The air is stale. Clay urns are scattered all over the floor. You knock one over as you walk and ash is kicked up into the air. Your nostrils and mouth are filled as you breathe it, causing you to cough. Search the urns. You find nothing. Go forward. Continue... What was that? Was that a- No, dude. No, no, no. Get the radio. Get the radio. Dude, that was a- That, that was a dude on a, on a stretcher thingy. On the- On the pooter. When people say send a video of, of you nutting with the sound on, this is what they actually want. Fellas, take notes. It's kind of funny. I don't, I don't want to turn it off. Okay, I'll play the game. I'll play the game. Shit. Continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine is rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into a pulp. The sight of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen, but is lodged deeply in to make it out. The hallway continues straight, searches abdomen. Put your squelchy little hands into his man bag. Search around. Oh, there it is. You reach into the corpse's abdomen and up through into its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter on the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. It's a strange key made of bone. On the top, a skull has been carved. Skull key added to your inventory. Dope. That's the chest. Let's go forward. I'm gonna look behind me! Oh, I'm good. Thank God. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna do it again, just for the thrill. 
Okay, yeah, we're safe. Oh, shit. You reach the end of a hallway and find a large window. Is he in my house whispering in my... What is happening right now? I'm freaking tweaking out. This is too much, man. There's a British man climbing my walls. I'm playing his freaking, like, Temple OS game. There's a guy moaning on the radio. You reach the end of the hallway and find a large window. Iron bars cover the window, allowing no escape. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life, but see nothing except the moon. A gibbet cage is off to the left. Behind it, a path continues. Go left. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's go all the way back. What the fuck? That was a big lightning strike. Oh, it won't let me go back yet to, uh, I was gonna use the skull key, but... Alright. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top, with wax candles attached all around, a gust blows past you, but its source is not apparent. What the fuck? When you inspect the brazier, you see it has a crawl space concealed behind it. Nice! Okay, you drag the brazier while straining under its weight till it's out of the way. The crawl appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Crawl into the hole. You go into the confined passage, its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead of you, you can see an exit. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? It sounded like it came from downstairs. Shit, shit, shit! Do we keep playing? No, we gotta go look. We gotta go shit. Whoa. Hello? You better not be fucking busting my windows. I swear to God. Is he in? Okay, all the upstairs windows seem to be intact. Hey, buddy. You don't want to mess with the girl with fishnets and Doc Martens unless you want to be sacrificed to the fucking Great Dark Lord. Alright? You should know better. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, shit. Did he break a window? Oh, the TV's on. No, dude, no. None of this spooky shit. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up shit. this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. Shit, shit, shit. He did bust out a window. We are going full COD Zombies mode on this motherfucker. We gotta, we gotta board it up before he gets in. <sighs> that should do it. Okay, nice. I could board up all these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. God, this guy is fucking. He is dubious. He's threatening to break in, breaking windows, not crawling in, just fucking with me. He's playing with me. Okay, back to the game. And please, close that door. Oh, shit. Okay. Back to your funny little game. You exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is to your right. On it are tiny candles and what looks like human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is wide open. Let's search the little table? Yeah! You search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter. It might be handy to take with you. You never know when a good length of rope's gonna come in handy. Alright. A flat wooded bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from the hole in the ground. Somewhere off to the left. Okay, let's say search the sewage hole. Uh, use item? Ooh! You skirt the rope to the wooden bed with a bowline knot. Good job, Boy Scout! If you want to, you can now descend the sewer drain. However, the smell is uninviting. Um, alright, I would like to descend into my sewage hole. It's time for us to penetrate the sewage hole. Together. Climb down. You lower the rope until you are at the drain's base. When you jump to the ground, you splash up into a layer of viscous sewage. You suddenly retch, starting to heave, and then ultimately throw up. You collect your composure and glance around, noticing a path in front of you. Excuse me? Hello? Someone just take a picture? Oh, there is a picture. Oh, no. Did he crawl in here and take a picture of me while I was on my pooter? Dude! No! No, 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 no! Who the fuck is this guy, Chris Angel? How did he- He's just perched up on my computer like, Do you like my game? <laughs> Sloshing through the sewage, you reach a corner. The path continues to your left. You enter a circular room, there's a stairway leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage that's covered in black robes. It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with a bright yellow eye. That's it! Run his pockets! Run his- ah! 
Approaching the corpse with caution, you push and roll it over. As you do, it springs to life with a blood-curdling screech. It charges at you, slashing with a claw-like fingernail. You evade the initial strikes, but you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. It scratches back before vanishing into the steps. You... What? My flashlight's not working? <laughs> what? Did he open up this door? Hello? Okay. What was that? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, my flashlight works now. Thank God. They <laughs> do What? <laughs> wall and dresser while I was downstairs. <gasps> Whatever it is, it's not human. He literally chomped my house. He took a bite out of my house. What is this guy made out of? Sign the book. What book? This? This book? What do you mean? I, I don't know why we don't have the option to close the cupboard, but maybe the breeze is nice. I don't fucking know. Back to our little game. You ascend the stairs and you move. Blood begins to ooze from the wound that that thing gave you. Torches light the stairway, but the top is pitch black. All right, let's go up there and use our lighter. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startled, you step back as you're confronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. It says there was nothing in the bones. You round the corner into a vast room. Four pillars enclose an enormous well, which can be reached by short flight of stairs. The water in the well is a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which moonlight shines. Narrow passage is off to the left. Search the room. You reach the guardrail. So you get closer to the well, you examine the water and notice a spherical object that is glowing with hues of yellow and red. It nearly seems to be begging for you to remove it from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural yearn to grab it some nuts, some balls, the ball. You, let's grab it. Why does he look kind of cute? He's like, Mom, I made you a macaroni picture, like... <laughs> You reach for the strange orb. Just as you do, the robed creature emerges from the depths. He kisses you on the lips sensually, its face twisted with a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in hand, almost as if it was making you an offering. A trade deal, perhaps. Fixated on the orb, you're unable to stop yourself from snatching it out of his hands. The creature slowly sinks back into the abyss. The strange orb has been added to your inventory. You know, the male urge to acquire a strange orb from a hooded creature in a catacomb sewers is something that is really hard to explain to the females, but it's real. It's real and it's, I've felt it since birth. Can I use the lighter on him and light his mustache on fire? This is sick goatee? No. All right, we'll keep going through the catacombs. Carefully placed in a macabre pattern, litter in small passages. Skull and bones carefully placed in a macabre pattern, litter the small passage. At the very end of Brazier sits its flames like a beacon. A Look behind you. Oh, no! <laughs> what? He's playing with my lamp. Snitherba? Snitherba? Snitherba. Why is he- Can you stop? It's just Dinkledork. What? God, I think I'm losing my mind. Frank this, man. Frank this. He's fu- A dead end is reached. A pair of skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two braziers. From the earth, a golden statue of a hand rises. Its fingers are positioned as if it was holding something, yet it is empty. Put the ball in his hand. Suck his fingers. Where's- Press five to suck fingers. Ooh! You place the strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks slightly into the ground. A rumbling begins and intensifies. A large round stone slab begins to rise for a brief moment. Dust and debris fill the air, making it difficult to see. When it settles, you notice a new passage has been revealed. Traveling deeper into the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped monuments. All the way up, they are ornamented with rows of skulls and bones and Funko Pops. A lone statue further back is followed by two more morbid monuments. There's a yellow fella back there. Uh, you... <laughs> What do you want? What is he doing? <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> what? God, he's quick. I'm trying to catch him. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Just keep going, girly. Let's play the game. Okay, you arrive before a golden statue. A person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. He's begging, please fill my basin with piss. I wish it was full of... 
of really, really yellow, pungent piss. God, I wish I had some piss right now. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier constructed of numerous bones. You examine a gleaming statue. The basin is written engravings. It reads, Blood is the bond. The blade is the key. An offering must be made. A spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. The steps are lit by the light from above. Right and left, the graves have been dug into the walls. Skulls and bones cover the walls behind the stairs. You find nothing searching, and you go up. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To the left, a large candelabra made of bones. Candelabra? Candelabra? Uh... A balcony looking down at the golden statue with a basin. Let's keep going. You approach the passage, see that it is blocked by an iron gate. Wooden counterweight. Yeah, pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk! You begin rotating the counterweight lever. The gate rises. Let's keep going, baby. Please don't do it. Oh, get up, get up! No, no, get up! Is he under the desk? Damn, someone's going hard. Someone's going hard on the radio right now. I swear to God, if he fucking like starts licking my toes or something. At the end of the passage, you see a fine set of double doors. Light shines through the gaps of the doors and you press against them. You notice they are unlocked. Yep, go forward. Ah, you push open and find yourself in familiar surroundings. A large pit lights the room and you can see that you are back in the room with the skull chest. Dude. We have the fucking skull key. Crack that bitch open. Oh, it's the blade. It's the blade. We got to go back to the basin and fucking fill it with piss. You turn the strange key, get the skull's mouth, you get the blade. Uh, epic style. Okay. Yep. Go back. Oh, no. Go forward. Uh, search. And use item. You cut a gash in the palm of your left hand with the peculiar blade, squeezing the open wound. You extend your hand over the basin. The basin starts to accumulate with blood. As it does, the sound of gears turning can be heard, but it's unclear where it's coming from. Oh! You search the area, you find the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path has appeared where the gravestone once stood. You force your way through and notice a staircase in the distance. As you get close to the steps, you notice they're carved from fine marble. You hear the gears spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the, the way back. Fuck. Okay, so we're stuck. Oh, there better not better not be no top hat fellas behind me. No Baba Duke type motherfuckers. No fucking Tim Burton Spider-Man. British people climbing your walls type shit. I don't want it. I don't want it. Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Their light reflects off marble floors and polished granite pillars. Mwah! A chill suddenly shoots down your spine, though the space is unsettlingly, unsettlingly quiet. Moving forward into the room, you find yourself at its center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. You try to use the light you found, but the fuel is spent. Fuck! My lighter's out. Your heart begins to race, and you begin to experience an increasing sense of dread. <laughs> okay. You walk up to the table. A few candles and a solitary book with a quill are placed on top of it. A figure in a black suit and a top hat is seated behind the table. It's him! That's literally him! That's the guy! That's the man in my walls! It, it's- that's- ah! Its hands appear to be fitted with gloves that have knives attached to each finger. Its head is leaning sideways on the table and its face expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes in various poses surround the figure. Search him. You examine the book. God, my boy's slumped. Its cover features an odd symbol and is bound by leather. A stunning teal feather is used to make the quill. It feeds into a nib with a complex engraving. The figure in the chair remains motionless. Open the book. Why did the rain stop? Why did the rain stop? The leather strap holding the book closed is released. The book flips open and you hear the jarring crack of bones as the head of this figure slowly rises. You freeze in horror as its stare comes face to face with yours. It starts to talk in a sinister voice. You finally arrived. It continues. You have completed all the trials. The key was taken, the orb given, the blood offered. The game is nearly finished. The figure indicates the book while stating, there's only one thing left when you put your name in the book. The game is over. You only need a quick signature to be set free. Stacy Lydon. Please sign and declare the game over? What? Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me, dog? You want me to- What is this the fuck? Who do you think you are, fucking Light Yagami? That's a, that's a death note, dog. All right, fuck, examine it. You examine the contents of the page. On the left page is a symbol of a crescent moon, along with a dagger. Other symbols and texts in a language you don't comprehend are also present. There is a lengthy list of names on the right page. Each name is written with unique handwriting. Sign the book. Fellas, we're gonna sign the book. I'm gonna hit one. Three, two, one. Sign it, sign it, sign it. Damn, bitch, you took up the whole f***ing- ah! 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 
What the fuck? The rain stopped. Press one to continue. Fuck, it was that fucker's face. This is my house. What the hell? That looks like my house. That is your house, Stacy. You fucking bozo. He downloaded your house? That's that window. That's that window. That sounded like it came from the attic. Fuck. I think that freak's inside. Fuck, fuck, fuck. The computer's smoking! Damn, bitch, I didn't know I was trying to run Crisis. Does this guy have a name? I'm just gonna call him Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Well, this is what you doing in my house. It's not raining anymore. There's the attic. All right, we going up, boys. Hey, buddy, your game was buns. Garna Bam Bam was better than that shit. I had more fun playing Mr. Krabs over doses on ketamine. Oh, fuck, there's the window. Is that a painting of his face? Do dog, come on. It's one thing to break into my house. It's one thing to use my fucking art supplies. This shit's expensive. Stacy. <gasps> Oh, you, you creepy fuck. <laughs> you creepy fucker. Where are you? We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta move, fellas. He's, he's always... Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Is finished. Fear not, Stacy. Our story has just begun. You and I will create a new game together. Mm, my head, it's pounding. Where am I? How did I get here? Dude, I got freaking kidnapped. Oh my god, I'm in the game, aren't I? Am I in his game? There's- he freaking downloaded me. He downloaded me and uploaded me into freaking Unity. You piece of shit. You motherfucker. You stinky British person. What? I can't see nothing, man. Oh my god. What the hell is this place? Can I get a candle dog? Oh, tape player. Fellas, we are ending this adventure here. That is, I fuck it. It's, we signed the book. We saved the video game. The British man got us. He got us and he fucking downloaded us. If you guys want to see more of Suffer the Night, let me know down below. Comment all that shit, you know, fucking maybe make a blood offering. That would be cool too. That'd be a lot. Just kidding. In, in a video game, of course. There's apparently a lot more to this game, but just a quick update for you guys. I am going to Japan tomorrow to film with the boys for three weeks. It's going to be a crazy time is gonna be really awesome but i uh i don't have time to play the rest of this game right now so we might just we're, we're probably just gonna end it there if this video does really well and you guys really like it then maybe we'll finish the game but yeah that was pretty sick I kind of wish it, it ended there. That was, it was pretty badass. But that was Suffer the Night. I liked it. That was so spooky. It was fun. Me likey. As always, I love you guys. I'll see you next time when I'm back in the US, which I'm in Australia right now, but I'm going to Japan tomorrow and then Bacon. I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.